Hello, so about halfway through a project, figured I'd join you, or bring you to join me, however it goes. So I'm almost done with this, or believe I'm almost done with it, but I figured I'd stop, take this a little bit apart real quick, and show you what I was doing. Am I actually hooked on the cable? Anyways, um, if you got a Volkswagen, um, this is a new Beetle, but I, apparently the some of the Audis and the um, other Be Beetle platforms have the same design, and... It seems completely dumb to me, but where's that little piece at? There we go. So on the end of these cables is a um, little rubber piece and it fails. And these cables are what run to the front, help you do your shifting. I got a video on me trying to figure this stuff out, but I just finally broke down because we need another vehicle and ordered the cable sabers from Diesel Geeks. Um, and they have an ex excellent install video. And so, I almost didn't do this video, but I figured, what the heck, I might as well. Diesel Geek! Anyways, um, so I brought, finally broke down and bought this for 40 bucks. It's pretty awesome. Um, you do have to drill a hole. I didn't have a hole saw, and I kind of jacked my hole all up, so I don't know how easy it's going to be. But, like I said, they have excellent videos on their, their website. You just take these few parts apart, make sure you got a good star bit, um, torque bit, whatever you call it. And their little kit comes with everything you need including an extra little screw but it's not in there i thought it was anyways so let me get back to doing this um your cables right here if you see that and the idea is you slip this over here it's split right here on the back of this so it pops pretty darn easy onto the ball and then you have to have a pair of circulate pliers pick mine up for track supply for like 10 bucks um bought them months ago and never used them just open them today and not entirely certain the trick to using them and everything but i'm about to figure it out right now so i'm a three on time lapse i just wanted to make this video real quick if you're considering or have this problem and you've seen their videos but you're like of course the company wants to sell their product um i can vouch so far it's looking awesome compared to how i've attempted to do this if you haven't seen my other videos i will put a link in the description but that sounds like a lot of work um you can find them on my channels i don't have enough videos for it to be hard to find but I've attempted um, some eBay kits, some um, stuff off of Amazon, using these little trailer clips or whatever they're called, um, everything. And it, the trailer clips work pretty good, so I was trying to do a burnout and shifting really hard, and it didn't didn't work out. Not like a concrete burnout, like on the dirt road. Not that this car isn't powerful enough for all that jazz. So I'm going to get back, hop right back into this, and uh, just figured I'd bring you along for the journey. Throw you on time lapse. Just wanted to add that the uh, kit I got was actually the cable saver kit. I apologize for a brief intermission. Anyways. I need the flashlight off my phone to be able to finish this. I'm going to try to get you where you can see this. Sorry. So that slid on. Oh, sorry. Anyways, that cable's on there. I know it's hard to see. I'm about to try to get the circle up on. That slid on so much easier than all the other ones I've tried so far. So if I can get that circle up on, we'll be golden. All right, so I'm about to sweat to death as I here in Georgia. And that took two minutes maybe to get that lined up and everything and, and popped on there. Kind of blows my mind. I can't, I can't believe that I spent two or three weeks trying with other products to do that. Anyways, 40 bucks still seems expensive for a little tiny piece of plastic and a circle up. But... The ease of installation, even when my hole is all jacked up and not screwed to their specifications. Um, world of difference compared to how I've tried to do it in the past. That was awesome. So, thanks guys. Um, get this posted, get this thing put back together, and hopefully take it for a spin this afternoon. So I did want to add real quick. I bought this car for 400 bucks, I think. Um, basically, the guy had bought it. He didn't pay a whole lot for it. And it went where he couldn't shift anymore. I carried up a dealership. They were going to charge him. I want to say it was like... 800 bucks or something i don't remember but it was it's almost as much as what he spent for the car and more than what i paid for the car and so to be able to fix this for 40 bucks kind of a killer deal so till next time thanks for watching putting this back together um plenty of videos you should be able to find how to do this no big deal till next time